Pointy test on one day India, England, Australia What a player What a player What a player Hello and welcome back to What a Player Fantasy section where today we are going to be giving you fantasy tips for the second ODI between Ireland and South Africa. So South Africa is touring Ireland for three ODIs and three T20s being played in Malahide in Dublin. In Dublin. The first ODI was washed out unfortunately, couldn't get a result. So now it's a two match series effectively. To give you all the fantasy tips, we have Akash and Vishak with me. Hi boys, how are we doing? Right. Starting with you Akash, tell us how the team is looking like for this one. Okay, so the first ODI was washed out and we saw that uh, South Africa decided to rest Decock and not K for the first game. So this rotation policy and resting policy might continue in the second game as well. We are expecting Wander to soon perhaps he's been playing continuously across formats for South Africa. So probably he will be getting the break next along with Kagi Zorapada. So we are going to bring back Quinton Decock as the captain once again. Followed by Paul Sterling, he didn't have a great match in the first one. But we're hoping that he's going to come back to his quick uh, scoring ways. So he'll be there in the team. Markaram, again, brilliant batsman. Bowls handy off spin as well. Followed by Balbani, the island skipper. He showed what kind of potential he has in the first match. He played really well. So we're hoping him to continue his form out there. Janaman Malan couldn't get his opportunity in the first game. He's a really good opener for South Africa. And we hope that he's going to get his second chance since the first game was washed out. So he'll be in our team as well. Going with the all-rounders, we picked two Irishmen. One is George Dockerell, who is a decent left-arm spinner and can also bat. He's been batting well uh, recently. Mark Adair, he showed what he's capable with the bat in the previous game. Scored a quick fire uh, cameo, but he did not uh, get a chance with the ball because the match was rained out. But he bowls. Uh, his bowling is also quite handy. And coming to the bowlers, we have picked three bowlers from South Africa and Andy McBrien, uh, who's the main, who's a pacer from uh, Ireland. And from South Africa, we have put Buran Hendricks, Tarbesh Shamsi, and Andrek Notkia. And we have made Andrek Notkia the vice captain, assuming that uh, Kagiso Rabada will be rested and Andrek Notkia will be given a chance this game. And uh, he will run through the Ireland lineup. That's our assumption, and that's why we have gone with him as the vice captain. Oh, very interesting. Always fascinates me to look at these teams who are not in you know top eight, not regularly featuring in the ODI World Cup, because Ireland did play quite well in. 2015 World Cup and they were one of the teams which were really disappointed when it was a 10 member, uh, a 10 team ODI World Cup in 2019. Uh, I'm going to ask you something very different because these are quite low profile games and Ireland being a team where we've not seen much of them at all in India. If there was one player who could potentially play IPL because no one's ever played IPL from Ireland, who could that be? Give us, give us some names who could potentially do well. I remember George Dockrell has been playing for years, I think 2011 as well. He pulled quite well against India and he played that World Cup. So if you look at Ireland's cricket team out here, they are actually past their prime stage. So when they were in their prime, the Sterlings and the Kevin O'Brien's and the Johnstons, these were the potential candidates who actually could have you know, fitted into any of the IPL teams. But considering the... You know, limitation which you have with how many players you can play per team. I think owners didn't go behind players like these. But if you look at the current bunch of players, I think there's one uh, Curtis Camphor. He's a really good all-rounder, both very good uh, handy pace, uh, medium pace bowling and is a very good middle order bat. He's a youngster who was part of the Under-19 World Cup as well. So he is one who probably can be groomed by uh, Ireland as a future captain as well. So he could be a potential pick if, you know, in future, you may see 10 teams probably next year. So, probably owners may aim for somebody like a Curtis Camper from Ireland. And even if you take a look at uh, the IPL, right, not many teams are keen on getting the uh, players from the Associate Nations. Only two players so far who have, have been picked in the, from the Associate Nations in the IPL. One is Ryan Tandiskate and the other is Chirag Suri. Other than that, no one else has got picked in the IPL uh, auction. So, it, uh, like teams are not uh, look, uh, looking into these associate nations. I think there are some very, they were very, very good players. But many of them expected uh, someone like Paul Sterling, or even after that 2011 exploits of Kevin O'Brien, many of us expected him to be in the IPL, which did not happen. So, it's quite sad. Uh, like if these players actually get some exposure, it would help them as well. 
Uh, yeah, but uh, as Akash mentioned, Curtis Camphor is the only player. He's a good all-rounder. He's played all the three formats now. And he's a decent pace bowler. Bowls uh, about about 130-135 and can also strike the ball well. So, I think he is one uh, good prospect. Yeah, I know with the teams expanding from 8 to 10 next year, maybe in the coming years you may see more teams from other countries apart from the, the regular 3-4 which we see 70-80% of the of the teams comprising of foreign players from. Um, before we go, we to shall... That question actually, yeah. uh, to that question actually, I think probably that change might come only when this BCC changes uh, its rules a bit. Probably make it mandatory for each team to pick up maybe one associate nation player. Only then I think these guys will get an opportunity. Otherwise, it looks very difficult uh, in future teams for that matter. I think some of the leagues to that, right, have a very good option. They have, uh, I think even in the recent PSL, if you see, they needed to have at least one emerging player in that squad, in the 11. So, I think uh, IPL also should have something like one associate nation, one emerging player, and then like you can have the rest three foreigners. If that uh, comes up, and also, I think you should have, if you, if that comes up, you give an under-19 guy or an emerging player also a chance. And you're giving an associate nation guy also a chance. That way, I think every you can develop the younger talent. IPL usually was, see, if you see IPL in the early years, it was mainly to bring up younger talents and more, uh, more players in, right? Now, it's like teams are just playing with established uh, players. I don't think any new talent is coming up in the last uh, two or three years. Yeah, I know, no, don't want to drag this point, but because we are doing a fantasy section, not really dissecting what uh, should be happening in the IPL and with the associate nations. But yeah, maybe if not in the IPL, then uh, I'm sure a lot of these players might be open to play for a nominal fee in, say, something like Sayed Mushtaq Ali. You know, it, it just brings us more, more talent from across the globe and helps grow the game. But anyways, quick prediction, um, Akash and Vishak, what are we thinking? Uh, 2-0 for... South Africa I expect? I think they batted, Ireland batted pretty well in the first game. But I think South Africa is too strong. So, I think uh, it will be 2-0. But expect some uh, fight from Ireland as well. If they bat uh, half decently, it will be... Uh, if they bat decently, I think they can put a good fight against South Africa. That would be the only expectation from me. Like, put a good fight and at least that South Africa close. Excellent, excellent. Hope we have a good game. Before we leave you guys, a couple of quick points. This game obviously involves an element of financial risk and may be addictive. So, please, please be responsible when playing and you have to be 18 plus if you are playing this game. The second point obviously is that the fantasy tips we are giving is purely for entertainment purposes. What a player or its member cannot be held responsible for any losses you may incur. Um, before we wrap up, a uh, quick note that we do lots of fantasy videos for pretty much all the international cricket including women's cricket and obviously for all IPL games um, so if you do happen to like any of our videos please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and check out our channel for other potential cricketing contents you may like until next time Akash Vishal thank you so much and please take care and be safe thank you guys thanks everyone stay safe